the 22-time Grand Slam winner has been prevented from playing in eight tournaments due to his non-vaccination status costing him millions in missed prize money Novak Djokovic has been banned from playing in eight lucrative tournaments over the past 14 months due to restrictions preventing those without the COVID-19 vaccination entering certain countries. America is one of the last countries to completely lift restrictions and despite Djokovic applying for a special exemption to play in this month's sunshine double the U.S. authorities have stood firm on their rule. The world number one officially withdrew from the Miami Open after trying everything to play at the lucrative tournament, after also being denied access to play at last week's Indian Wells Open. Djokovic has missed eight events in total and would have been favorite to win all of them. Tennis 365 have now revealed the huge loss of earnings the Serbian has missed due to his anti-vaccination stand. If Djokovic had gone on to win all eight he would have won a staggering £9.35 million, $11.39 million. The tennis star made headlines for all the wrong reasons at last year's Australian Open when he was deported on the eve of the tournament and had his visa cancelled twice. Djokovic blasted the media for ruining his brand as the star was denied access to Australia due to not having the COVID-19 vaccine. The Serbian suggestion means he may have lost much more than, than the £1.58 million on offer for winning a Melbourne Park. Djokovic was also prevented from traveling to American for the Sunshine Double last year missing out on potential first-place prizes at Indian Wells, 1.01 meters, and the Miami Open, 1.23 million pounds. Despite missing the American tournaments Djokovic was allowed to compete in Europe last season including a quarter-final defeat at the French Open to eventual winner Rafael Nadal. The Serbian star went on to win Wimbledon for the seventh time in his career collecting the £2 million first prize at SW19. However, his non-vaccination status hit again in the second half of the season being banned from competing at the prestigious Canadian Open and Cincinnati Masters events missing out on prize money of £751,548 and £796,483 respectively.